welcome back to my channel. I know I've been a little MIA. I apologize. Honestly, the last few layouts I've just done organically, and then the last two layouts I even attempted to um, film, the camera cards magically lost my footage. So I'm sorry, but thank you for joining me. I am using my scrapbookingstore.com kit for the month of July, and I'm using my two inch circle punch to cut uh, about nine circles out of the scrap material that I have. This collection is featuring the Bow Bunny, I think it's like Paradise Escape um, collection, which is really cute, and I like the colors, and it's very summer-esque. So what I'm doing right now also is just deciding which ones to uh, use and where. And these are photos I'm scrapping from my Mother's Day photo shoot. Um, these were sort of some of like the negatives um, involved. And I'm trying to get all of like the blue tone um, colored circles to use first. If you stick around, um, I'm using the rest of the kit for my Week in the Life album, which will be up shortly. I'm just still working on the journaling aspect, but that's where I kind of demolish this kit is to use it in my um, album. So I'm cutting off three quarters of an inch on two sides in order to still have a perfect square and I'm going to do some mixed media work. Now I'm grabbing this stencil and it's called, I believe it's called Circle Bursts. Um, it's probably a, not a recent purchase. I got it on Blitzy probably a long time ago. It's the first time I'm using it. I know because the last honestly few months have just been so busy with running um, our Cairo clinic that like I said I've been scrapping organically but not nearly as enough as I have in the beginning of the year. So I'm still scrapping and I'm definitely keeping up with my Project Life album and I'll have flip throughs shortly, um, but just been busy this summer, honestly, and I'm so sorry, but I thank everyone that's been still waiting for me. So I used 3D gloss gel from Art Basics from Finnabar, and now I'm using some Glitz glitter and I thought I wanted to ombre it over with some gold uh, glitter as well. You'll see me add it shortly and I'm using some... Um, deli paper to collect all the glitter and while this does look gorgeous you'll see me kind of demo the circles on top of the gold with the white and I just didn't think they popped as much on the gold background as they do for the white so honestly I kind of you'll see me like layer it up and I'm just like nope 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 don't like it and I just do it over real quick and I just use the gold glitz and here I am like mm, nah, yuck Ugh. okay I'll use that later <laughs> <laughs> so getting some more cardstock real quick and going in there again and if you haven't ever done this technique I always use uh, gel it doesn't have to be 3d gloss but it's just like icing a cupcake you just kind of smear it over like it was you know cream cheese on bread and I just like the gel better when using the glitter technique because it dries clear wherever glitter doesn't stick to it. Um, you can do this with modeling paste. I just find that the gel gets to stick more glitter than modeling paste. It totally works the other way. Like if you mix it into the modeling paste and kind of scrape it through, I think it works. But again, it's a white texture for modeling paste. And this one, like I said, dries clear. So just a little FYI, you can do it either way. I just prefer gel when doing glitter. And I love the texture that it is. Now don't get me wrong, could I have used modeling paste and been happy with the texture in the background? Yes, but this way adds sparkle and that's what makes it so much better. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so some of the bits that you see on top, like the pinwheel and the orange slice and the words are from the kind of ephemera pack from Bow Bunny as well that's also featured in the kit. And I'm using um, liquid scotch glue. This is just the tacky glue and I'm using liquid simply because um, it won't, it, like double-sided tape won't work for sticking on a glitter background, uh, the texture-wise. So the glitter glue, the gl liquid glue just works better on a textured background. So that's what I am doing here. And now it's just trying to embellish, embellish <laughs> the two inch circles. So I love this pinwheel that was featured in the ephemera pack. There's actually a bigger one as well, but I wanted everything to be sort of encased into the circle without having too much hanging off the edges, just to keep the layout in my opinion, neater looking. Um, so I'm just giving at least one little piece of ephemera on each from the ephemera pack. And then we were given um, the sticker pack by Jen Hadfield um, as well. And I start adding a few of these bugs and these stickers too, these florals are from Sticko. Uh, I didn't enjoy any of those. They weren't the same colors as the rest, but here I am with this sticker pad and I'm using like all of the bumblebees, uh, you know, citrus slices, uh, dragonflies, I believe I use, yeah, the lemon, 
and a few um, butterflies as well, and a few of the florals, just to add a little bit more interest to each. And I try to make sure that at least everything had at least one piece of ephemera or embellishment, and some of them started adding two or three because at least they all worked together. But I will be taking um, my title from the thicker collection you see right next to me. It's kind of the rose gold glitter set, and I use the tinier words that say um, best, best day, is yeah best day and the Y actually breaks right now when I pull it off the sticker sheet you'll see it happen I'm like ah and then I have to piece it together like cray cray so I guess either they're dry and old <laughs> or I was just a little too rough and then on the other one will be the good times um, I thought about having a bigger word across like all of the the whole in layout but again I have to keep in mind when it's a textured background like this it's hard to have anything stick really well to the background so just be conscious of it when you do that and there was my head for you. All right, and here are all the close-ups. Thank you so much for joining me. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and it's good to be back. I hope this inspired you to do something creative soon. Bye!